القول قول الصوارم كي تسترد المظالم حتى الأراضيل You mentioned the Canada, Malaysia, UAE and the youth. Did you find much difference with the youth in those countries or maybe because you know the Western culture has spread far and wide, they're pretty much the same? How did you find different types of youth in those countries? Yeah, when I was teaching in the United Arab Emirates in an area called Rahba, it's like the Bedu, basically. And I was shocked to see the westernization of these young men. They still had certain elements of their culture which has it was really interesting and appealing very fascinating but you could tell the fast changes that were taking place so within the few years that i was teaching there i could notice a um, great change so i would say at the moment we're in a global village where the issues that we're dealing with in the west have trickled into uh, these countries um, at a much faster pace uh, it's it's really accelerated uh, corruption let's say yeah, mm. it's really sad of the ethics, the morality, social media is infiltrated everywhere. Everyone's on the phone, everyone's on TikTok, on Instagram. And it's really, really changing the uh, the minds of, of young men and women. Now, um, since, you know, you're in education or you've been in education, we always have the, the debate, you know, locally and I think globally as well in regards to uh, private schools or Islamic schools, public schools, right. or even an, a third option now is homeschooling, mm. especially since COVID you know, made that happen for many people who would never ever have thought of it. What's your advice for Muslims living in the West regarding this? Right, so I've tried everything. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> yeah, so if you can, if it's possible and you have a community that supports you, families who can share the burden and the load, I think homeschooling would be the best. Um, it, it takes a lot of work, and you have to have that social component for the students. So they, there is some guided exposure as to what they're going to be dealing with. If you just shelter them and then at some point just release them into the world, it will be a very, very big shock. So there has to be certain guided exposure. Like, I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us it's haram, but then he gives us the, the hal, you know, the yeah. solution. So you expose this, you'll tell us this one, two, three, but you do one, two, three. So there has to be some form of exposure, some social component. It's a lot of work. And a lot of people embark on homeschooling. It's an individual or family-based approach. They get overburdened. They kind of stop. If you can do it, personally, I believe that homeschooling is, is probably the best way to go. Yeah, And homeschooling here doesn't mean on the computer online education it's it's a lot more than that so a lot of people mistake that they think okay put him in front of a computer give him some kind of a online program and and let, let him go for eight hours a day